Hi guys, I'm Tamil Sivan, technical trainer in Network Assume. So today let's see this physical device that is your L3 switch. So what model of switch is this? This is Cisco Catalyst 3750 version 2 series that is power over Ethernet model. So this is an L3 switch and here you can see 24 ports. So all ports supplies this power over Ethernet that means both data and power can be supplied through a single cable. Okay. And here you can see this two ports. These are called the uplinks. Okay. And here you see this SFP port. You can connect this through this uplinks and you can connect both fiber optic and copper cable through this SFP so that multiple devices like routers, firewalls or switches you can connect it through uplinks also okay and through over long distance also and here you can see this multiple indications this shows the status of the switches okay and always it is better to you know stick like this here you can see this port 3 switch 2 so so that in your real time rack you can identify the switch and it is easy to manage and configure okay and coming to the other side of the switch so here you can see the power supply. So through this power cable is kind of connected and you can get the power for this particular device. And here you see this one, this is called the RPC. So redundancy power supply. Once the internal power supply goes down, then this part comes into picture. Okay. And also you can see this console port here. It has written console so that you can take a console cable and either you can connect it to a terminal server or you can connect it to your PC and do all the configurations of this particular device. And here you can see this is stack one and stack two. What is this? So multiple switches you can connect it through the switch and make all the switches as the single switch that means with one ip address you will be able to handle all the single switch okay so this is a l3 device so your inter vlan routing it supports some static routing your routing information protocol and some basic uh, dynamic routing protocols also applied on this uh, device so it supports those uh, routing protocols also in upcoming videos i'm going to show you routers terminal servers firewalls and cables and all so stay tuned and i'll see you back in next video thank you